Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. Welcome to the final episode of Season 2 of my FIFA 16 Manchester United Career Mode. Guys, I just want to thank each and every one of you for all the fantastic support, not just on this career mode, but if you have, it was because you've liked, commented, favorited, subscribed, or you just said something really awesome, or, or supportive and constructive criticism even, just nice in the comments. I just want to thank each and every one of you for all the fantastic support. Now, there is a disclaimer that there is no gameplay in today's episode. If you've been watching my career modes for a while, I usually do mention this, but the last episode of the season is just a cool... Calm, relaxed commentary. We're going to be going through the stats, which I really do enjoy about career mode. I love sharing it with you guys. So I'm going to be showing you the squad report. I'm going to be showing you uh, who won the leagues around the world. We're going to be seeing who won the the La Liga, who won the Serie, who won the Bundesliga, and I will be giving you a sneak peek preview of season three. If you wish to choose, if you want to see. If you want ex I don't know how the quote goes with the mission. I was trying to do some lame Mission Impossible thing, but I'm just going to fuck it and forget it. But, uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see Season 3 in the comments below. Don't usually hold a vote. I usually hold, hold a general consensus if there's heaps of people who want me to do it. And then I am okay with myself and really want to do it, which I'm, I'm thinking about it. I wouldn't mind doing it. But uh, you guys heavily influence that decision. But, uh, yeah. Got a lot of pre-contracts to look forward to. We managed to sign Iron Robin, um, Frank Ribery, and Javi Martinez. So they're going to be joining the club superbly. But you're most welcome to pause at any point in time. Like I said, this is cool, calm, relaxed. We're going to be going through some interesting stats. Lacazette has gone up a plus two. Same with Ronaldo on his debut season with Paul Pogba. Anthony Martial scored Skev Skeven? Skeven goals coming from Svenska. <laughs> He's Swedish or something. Oh, I don't even know. Managed to score seven goals away on loan at Sunderland. Yuri Tillemans has gone up in stats. Tried to loan him out this season, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Uh, Adnan's gone up a bit. And Herrera and Daly Blind both out on loan are going up some stats. But uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you've got your predictions. Alexis, got it right, pat yourselves on the back if you do. Alexis Sanchez picked up the goal scorer of the top goal scorer of the Premier League. If you got that right, which I doubt anyone fucking did, um, it was usually, well, it's usually between my 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 players. But uh, it was pretty much spread around the pitch with Ronaldo, obviously, in his debut season, along with uh, Lacazette. But here's the league standings. We're going to find out who has won the other leagues. Obviously, I won the, the Premier League. Stoke, Hull, and Derby and getting relegated. PSG won the, the League 1. Schalke won the Bundesliga. What a huge upset that is. 80 points they got. Juventus managed to win the Serie A followed by Milan. Lazio did well. you got to give that to them. Uh, Spain, Sevilla came second. Barcelona first, Real Madrid, Atletico finishing fourth, Valencia finished fifth. That's interesting to see where they would have finished if they didn't have, obviously, Gareth Bale. Uh, what? Um, Daily Blind. <laughs> and um, what's his face? And a Herrera. Potential job openings. Sitting we've won the treble for the past two fucking seasons consecutive. You'd think... Everyone would want to offer me a job. But no, it's only Stoke on a fucking Tuesday and Everton. But we've hit my objectives. So next season, if we could win the triple treble winning the domestic cup, the Champions League and the league title, hopefully we can do that. I pick up manager of the season, of course. David De Gea didn't pick up uh, goalkeeper of the season. Courtois did picking up more assists, but... Yeah, kind of disappointed that none of my... Well, Gareth Bale... Uh, sorry, Gar why am I saying Gareth Bale all the time? I was trying to say Ronaldo. Ronaldo picked up player of the season. My God, but yeah, David De Gea, a little bit upset, a little bit discontent. So we will be going with a pre-season tournament invite. We're going to be accepting it. Don't really care. You know my sort of thoughts and opinions about that now. now it's I don't know. It's good to get the team out and, and test them. However... I don't think it's worth uh, playing it. But my players have returned from loan now. Obviously, like I said before, Daily Blind, Valencia. Oh, uh, God. Ander Herrera <laughs> was on loan at Valencia. We've got a season budget, and we've got some new players, obviously, 
joining the club on pre-contract. Iron Robin, Frank Ribery, Javier Martinez. Whether or not we we play with them that much, Iron Robin, 91 overall, 33 years of age, can play all over the pitch, basically. He might be useful next season, but we'll just have to see whether or not we sell them on for a profit, a profit in January. Just trying to make as much money as possible. That's how you make your money in career mode pre-contract players. Uh, Martinez as well, joining the club, 85 overall. I forgot about Martinez <laughs> that I signed him, obviously, earlier on the window. I always kept on um, talking about the Bayern 3. Oh, yeah, Martinez might be all right. Uh, 30 years of age, 85 overall, Frank Ribery as well. But I will be putting them on, on, a, on the loan list, whether or not they go out. We'll just have to see. You can't sell them in the first window. But we do have a lot of money in the bank, $150 million. Let me know in the comments if I do do Season 3 what players I should sign in the August transfer window. But I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching if you watched all the way through. Really do appreciate all support on Season 2 of the United Career Mode. All the fantastic comments, constructive criticism, and just, just feel-good comments. You've been absolutely superb. But I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on my social media links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and whatnot. But let me know in the comments if you'd like to see Season 3. And after you've watched this episode, go out and have a fantastic resty day. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Be safe. Goodbye.